Yo, welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks VGC. Today, we're going to get into another episode of Journey Through VGC. The current format we're in is Regulation C. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, so today we're going to be using um, a Chimpow and Ting Lu team. So that's our two runes. We have one Paradox Mon, Fluttermane. Um, let's go ahead and go through some of these movesets. So uh, let's start him with Chen Pao. Um, he is going to be the Focus Sash variant. We have Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, and Protect on that one, as well as the Ghost Terror. So the idea behind Ghost Terror is that you can lead uh, Chen Pao with Annihilate. You can lead Chen Pao with Dragonite. You can lead it with Arcanine or Ting Lu. And turn one, you can get around them faking out Chen Pao to break his Focus Sash and double up into it just to try to remove it quickly. And so that allows you to be able to move and avoid the fake out. Right? So that's the idea behind the Ghost Terror. Uh, Dragonite. So we are going to be the Flying Terror on this with Clear Amulet. So Clear Amulet allows us to not have to run uh, Inner Focus. So we can get faked out. We can get flinched. But... We do keep our, we do have multi scale, so that's to work around um, the iron bundle, the iron bundles, the flutter mains, the chi use when they try to just target Dragonite with strong super effect, uh, strong special attacks or super effective attacks. We can take those and still get our tail one up, and then I'll speed them the next turn where we could go for a Terra Blast. Um, we do have extreme speed plus Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is to deal with Gyarados. Um, outside of a, us, us leading Annihilate, Gyarados is pretty annoying for this team, especially a Steel Terror Gyarados. Um, so Thunder Punch is just surprise it. Uh, when you lead Dragonite with Gyarados on the field, it'll feel kind of safe next to, uh, cause Chin Power probably can't knock it out immediately plus Dragonite. So the Thunder Punch, or you can switch, you can lead, um, Ting Lu Dragonite and switch out Ting Lu and the Chin Power and go for the Thunder Punch on the, uh, onto the Gyarados to one-shot it. If it doesn't tear, you get the one shot there, which is um, a good strategy to just to remove Gyarados. I've already removed a few Gyarados and uh, practicing with this team. Arcanine, um, so that's going to be our third Pokemon. It has Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Howl, and Protect with Safety Goggles and Flying Terror. So the idea behind Safety Goggles is to give you a good Among Us matchup. You can switch Arcanine in on a Spore as well as uh, target down um, the Among Us with a Flare Blitz. Uh, if it's full max HP, Flare Blitz does about 80%. If it's not bulky Among Us, if it's like a speedy Among Us, then you one-shot it. Um, they have enough investment to do that. After one Howl um, on Arcanine, you do one-shot Among Us if it does not Terror with Flare Blitz. And the idea behind Howl is that you can boost up your other uh, four physical attackers as well as Arcanine. Um, they boost their attack up, and that helps you also get around Intimidate and helps you speed up the pace of the game. Um, the Flying Terror there is going to be so you can use this combo next to Ting Lu. Arcanine outspeeds Ting Lu, so you can go for a Flying Terror plus Howl, and then go for Earthquakes on Ting Lu, and that way you're not hitting your Arcanine and you continue to get Howls off, right? And also gives you uh, a chance to play around the Hydro Pumps that come out for Iron Bundles on leads, because people like to lead Iron Bundle, Iron Bundle to this team. All right, the next Pokemon is going to be... Fluttermane. So this is a max speed Fluttermane um, with Steel Terror and Substitute. So the idea behind Steel Terror, max speed, and Substitute with the booster energy is that you can outspeed pretty much everything outside of a booster energy iron bundle and get a Substitute up. And if they uh, try to protect in front of Fluttermane, reading that you're fast and want to go for like a defensive play, you can punish them with that defensive play. And the Steel Terror helps you survive things that normally uh flutter main wouldn't survive it's good defensive synergy um and that goes really well with finishing things off i didn't want to go max special attack or choice specs because we already have enough damage on this team to where flutter main can just pick up ko's in the end game and like, like i said the substitute is really good at punishing people for making defensive plays um so that's the idea behind that next on the list is our ting lu we're going to have Fairy Terror plus Assault Vest, Throat Chop, Earthquake, Stumping Tantrum, and Heavy Slam. So the idea behind this Ting Lu is that this Ting Lu is a more uh, offensive damage dealer, but it's still bulky. 
the fairy uh the fairy terror is to get around uh a lot of the super effective hits that go into tinglu like the uh fighting moves um it gets around the ice moves the water moves you could just live everything people don't typically go steel type or poison type moves into tinglu because one it resists poison and two steel types don't do that much damage into tinglu uh, especially with Arcanine next to it, most steel types are physical outside of um, Godengo. So that's um, a pretty good t uh, terror for this Pokemon. And then Heavy Slam is to one hit KO uh, Flutter Mains and remove them from the field. We are going Earthquake Stumping Tantrum instead of Fissure because we want to deal as much damage as possible, as well as Throat Chop to get around um, not having to use Ruination because we want to knock things out with Dark type attacks. The last Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. So there is no mouse hole to activate Rage Fist on this Annihilate. But this Annihilate does well alongside Arcanine and Ting Lu as just being bulky and staying on the field for a long time. And recovering with Drain Punch. And it has leftovers with Fire Terror. It's a really good addition to this team because it stops. It makes them think about one to just freely lead intimidate into my team. As well as um, you threaten a lot of other Ting Lu's with dra Drain Punches. And one Howl plus bulk up on this Annihilate, and it pretty much KOs everything. And Annihilate puts on so much pressure that they're going to want to target it, but they can't KO it easily. So that, in return, also gives you your Rage Fist stack. So that's the idea behind this team. And now let's go ahead and get into some battles. Alright, so we have Fodermain, Sarah Ledge, Jim Powell, Dragonite, Glamour, and Godingo. Excuse my voice today, I'm a little congested. But we're gonna go ahead and play through it. So what do I wanna lead into this? He has his own Jim Powell Dragonite. How good is my Tingaloo here? Tinglu is really good here, outside of his Chim Pal. So we can threaten his Chim Pal with some damage up front. He may lead Chim Pal Sarah Ledge. Uh, Sarah Ledge likes to go Steel Terror or Grass Terror. So we're going to bring ours in the back. I don't think Annihilate is too good here. Um, he has three ghost types. Flying Terror. I don't want to have two things that are weak to Chim Pao. Plus, I can't extreme speed safely, right? So, Flutter Main in the end game, I think it's pretty good. Plus, whatever he does in Terror, we can just outspeed and threaten KOs, cleanups. So the idea of my Flutter Main, this is an in-game sweeper for this team. Like it just cleans up the in-game um, when Tailwind is done. And things like that. Or things Focus Sash are broken. Alright, so good more Dragonite. And he's multi-skill Dragonite. Okay. I think we want to ignore the Glamour for right now. Actually, it threatens my Arcanine, doesn't it? Hmm. I think Annihilate would have been good here. I do want to break multi scale though. We'll protect Dragonite this turn. I mean, Arcanine this turn. See what Glamour is going for. Oh, this is a good play. 
Oh, he just went for mortal spin. Imagine if we went for how here. So this is just the scout, right? Because I know he wants to poison my Arcanine. So if I just went for Earthquake there, he would have been in big trouble. And that almost just KOs. He's weak in his policy. Okay. He's gonna go after Ting Lu for sure. I'm shocked he made that play because if I just went for Earthquake, how? Turn one, he would have been in a really bad spot. Yeah, he would have been in a really bad spot. All right. So we're going to go for it this turn, though. Can we still make something out of it? Sarah weakness policy. Haven't seen that. It's usually leftovers. Alright, so he protects it. Now he power gems. Sash. So that's why he's not tearing Glamour. I was using a Focus Sash variant Glamour too on, uh, with my last team. It's really, it's really consistent because you don't have to worry about, you know, losing Glamour immediately. And also the Spiky Shield is like a really good, a really good defensive tech. So we're gonna go for another Earthquake and protect Arcanine here. Oh, he's tearing in that. I should have extreme speed it, right? Because now he's not ghost. Yeah. That's a good play by him. We still may do enough. He's still in extreme speed range. Right, he's probably gonna protect next turn. I haven't revealed extreme speed though. I think I should go for it since I haven't revealed it. I think losing Kale range though. But my Chen Pao just takes care of his Dragonite in the end game. So what's his last one? I think I throw chop here and then go for protect because even if he um goes for bitter blade and like he doesn't protect oh I protected last turn I'm tripping he did go for protect though ah oh, that's a misplay on my end I should have exchanged speed at him I totally forgot that I went for protect last turn I knew he was gonna go for protect on uh, Sarah Ledge.
Yeah, that's a missed opportunity by me. Could he have in the back? It's probably Chin Power or Flutterman, right? Heavy Slam covers a switch in this slot. And then we sucker punch this slot. In this case he tries to go for the KO there. Okay, he's attacking though. So we could have KO Sarah Ledge a long time ago. But I think we're still in a good spot. I have lost my sash on my chin pal though. Yeah, extreme speed onto the Dragon Knight. I, I don't think it mattered because I still just KO it with the Ice Spinner anyway. So we are the faster footer, man. So are you Sash? He's booster energy too, so it must be special attack. Oh, he's speed as well. Hmm. This might be a speed tie. We double protect here, Scout. Yeah, substitute. We're in trouble. So his flutter main can outspeed my chimp out and get a one hit KO, right? He's just going for clean. Okay. What's Dragon Knight going for? Break, break. Supposed to double up into that slot. Uh, he should protect Flutter Man here now, right? Him protecting Fluttermane, and I go for uh, Ice Spinner and Substitute would instantly win me the game, right? Can he risk protecting Fluttermane? I don't think he does. Ah, he does. <laughs> I could have just won the game off this play. Yeah, well played, well played, well played. But also, can his Dragon Knight hit my Flutter Main? Because if I win the speed tie here, he. I know it's extreme speed, brick break, dragon claw. And if it, he may can't hit me. I guess we'll see. Oh, he has aqua jet. Okay, he can't hit me. And that 
as a KO. Uh, well played, well played. Yeah, it's a 50 50. I could have went for that play. I wanted to go for Ice Spinner and Substitute. I wanted to go for it so bad. We have Chi. Chi has Chi Yu. Flutterman. Tyranitar. Scizor. Gyarados. And Brelo. Chi Yu Flutterman seems pretty threatening on lead. I think I can go like this. If I get tail one up, I'm in a good spot, right? Arcanine in the back. Arcanine is a must to deal with Gyarados. I mean, uh, Scizor and Breloon. Ting Lu, how good are you here? You're good at Tyranitar. Will it leave Fluttermane? I think I do to just reduce um, Scizor's effectiveness. I love this team though. It has so many different like combos and leads you can go with. So he has to tear a dragon. I mean, uh, Tyranitar turn one, right? I think I can go for a bulk up here. going in a flying terror. <clears throat> okay. So we get Thunder Punch that slot. And I'm going to just heal back by Jane punching Scizor. So that's good that we went for Tailwind to combat his Tailwind. He didn't even go for Terror Blast. All right, so I do got a Rage Fish stack. So I can try to get his Tyranitar out of here. I 
how much is this doing? Put it in Thunder Punch range. All right, that's Thunder Punch range. See you next time, Tyranitar. You don't get to play the game. Oh, what is Scizor going for? Ooh, Aerial Ace. Ooh, that did a lot. Life Orb. I actually did not expect that much damage to be coming out from Scizor. Aerial Ace. I actually think it was correct for me to tear it there. But yeah. There's Fetterman. I got a play I can go for here. Switching Ting Lu, Terra, Terra Blast, Flutter Man. <clears throat> it should be a gleam, right? But this reduces the special attack. Maybe I should have went for it on the, the Annihilate side, right? Because he should bullet punch me. Oh, he bullet punched that slot. Perfect. Nice. All right. Yep, Flutter Man's out of there. Okay, so it's 4v2. But we are extremely low on a lot of things. We got to start dealing with... Well, we have, we have Arcanine. There's Gyarados. My opponent can pick up a double KO here, right? I can switch an Arcanine here. Stomp the tantrum on this. Just gotta get Scizor in KO range. It should be a bullet punch into Arcanine, Waterfall into Tinglu. Nice. Nice. Right. So Scizor should not have Protect, right? I think I, I think I need another Intimidate, and that way my Nile can clean up. So I'm going to sack two Pokemon here. I'll go for a Stumping Tantra just because I get it off. Let's switch into Dragonite. So I get another Intimidate. And then I, Scizor shouldn't have Protect because it showed Bullet Punch, Aerial Ace. It has to have a Bug type attack, right? Oh, Dragon Dance. And 
tell one. Wow, Dragon Mask. I did not expect that. If we get the KO here, we're in a good spot, but we might not. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, Scissor's gonna go down though. So that's still fine. So now it's a 2v1. But Gyarados is gonna be back at minus one. We'll go for bulk up here because I got a feeling he's going for a uh, dragon dance. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. I said it's one for Rage Fist. I'm playing this a bit suboptimal, but I don't know why he didn't expect a protector. He should expect a protect here, though, right? He's not going after anything but my Annihilate. <laughs> Impressive, man. Uh, are you buried? He's not. Uh, this is close one. There's another E-Speed KO. And we get it. Woo! I played that one suboptimal. Um, I played the, both of these last games too suboptimal. I, I feel like I had to win if I just. I keep going for these hard reads. I think the next game I'm just gonna play standard, and not try to like go for a hard read. That's the thing though, man. I'd be going for some really impressive reads, but like my opponents just. They don't be trying to make the, the smart plays. They just play. They, they make the plays that can lose their name instantly, you know. But maybe that's just a read on them reading me. <laughs> that's the thing I love about Pokemon. It becomes like a chess. It's like chess game. You're like, you read me, I read you. You read me, I read you, you know. All right, hard trick room plus another scissor. Believe it or not, scissor was kind of annoying last game, right? All right so Tang Lu Arcanine is really good into his his whole comp, reducing all the special damage. But he does have Mimikyu, which is good into my Tang Lu. But I do have Arcanine to intimidate it. He does have psychic terrain. He 
He doesn't have fake out though, so it's always NDD plus. So I think priority is good here. Priority's good. How plus uh, ice spinner, right? And then we just go for priority stuff. He does have Mimikyu though. I think Fire Terror Annihilate is also good here. And just give me as many resistances to fairy type and fire damage. That's why I didn't uh, bring Dragonite. I think leaving Dragonite and Fluttermane is the correct choice here. No, I ain't gonna remember you. So there's no terrain. And the Ranger was oblivious, so it can't be taunted, right? I think I just double this slot, right? The Mimikyu is attacking here. Unless he's just going for Trick Room with both. Did <laughs> he just go for Trick Room with both and just hope one gets it up? Curse and MQ. Indeed. Let me just remove Ndidi from the field. Like, everything is getting low. He might not even have enough offense to take out uh, Ting, my, uh, Ting Lu and um, Annihilate in the back. Because all I need to do is chip Torco with priority moves. And then it's full power reps and it's won't aren't doing anything. And I just wait for the free switch in to Annihilate. Oh, okay. What's this coming in? Torco? Yeah. So Didi's not even gonna get Trick Room off because this Flare Blitz is gonna do even more damage because you just brought out the sun. That was reading me doubling up into Mimikyu. So this is just me doubling up into the Pokemon. I think it's gonna go for Trick Room. I felt like Mimikyu was gonna go for like a play rough into my Chimpao that turn. But it went for Curse, which is even worse for him. But like, he just took half his health. And now I just double up the Mimikyu. Because, I mean, you would you have Protect, too? I don't think so. You got Curse, Trick Room, probably Play Rough, Shadow Sneak. So I'm just going to double you up. There's no protect. And then Flare Boost just finish off. Torco can probably double KO here with an eruption. But my Annihilate plus Tinglu just beats it. And I fire Terror Annihilate. So we go for Howl plus Stump and Tantrum. 
The only way he's in a decent spot right now is if he has flying terror on Torco. But he's hard trick room, so his Torco should be a sweeper. So it should always be fire terror, right? And he canceled. GG. That was a quick match. That was a quick one. Oh yeah, question of the day. Sorry I didn't get into this earlier, chat. But how many Ruin Pokemon do you use on one team? Or would you use on one team? I think the most you should use is two. All right, final game of the day. Chimpao, Talonflame, Dragonite, Tinglu, Glamour, and Annihilate. So we have four of the same six Pokemon. So this is almost like a mirror match. The difference is I have Fluttermane and Arcanine. He has Glamour and Talonflame. Uh, he's going to definitely lead, lead a nine late bird. I think I want to leave these two. Bring my nine leap in the back. So my Arcanine is good here, right? But yeah, I think I want to leave it. So the terror there on his end is to get around me going for choice man extreme speed and just removing it from the field immediately. I'm not even going for that. Yeah. Now he doesn't get tailwind up though, and I do. That was a good burn, though. Dragon Knight's not really doing much here, is it?
I think I switch into annihilate. But I need annihilate and flutter made on the field to take advantage of my tailwind because Dragonite's just sitting here now. Gamora can't be my Nihilic though, so I can focus down his other slots. I think I go for Terra here. Bulk up. Because it may be a slug bomb. <clears throat> and still, still resist most of Dragonite's moves unless it has low kick. And you're never going to go for like low kick into that slot. Right? Skill. So another one KO that. Another outrage, man. What's up with the choice band outrage, man? At least we know we can't switch. If your Glamour is a salt vest, I can heal up my my strength back, right? If you're not spiky shield. And you're locked into outrage. What's up with these outrages, man? It's crazy. It's a good it's a good amount of damage that went to my annihilate, cause like He know Annihilate was a problem, so he doubled up into it to try to get rid of it. Crit will take that. Heal up a good amount. Spikes go out, but that doesn't matter because our Dragonite's burned in the back. And all my Dragonite really needs to do is just break the uh, Sash. Yeah, Annihilate's a problem for him. It's got to be Chimp out in the back, right? So we always just moon blast you so Dragonite just clicks his stream speed. That's all we need is some win HP. I'm gonna protect her to get a little bit of HP back. Oh, he just canceled. Yeah, he saw the writing on the wall. Because Glamora is, you know, with, with both of them being low, my Dragonite can just finish off both. I don't think we really needed to tell when that turn, I mean, that game. Because my uh, Flutterman was always outspeeding his Dragon Knight, and he went for uh, uh, Outrage. Yeah, but he definitely was trying to get rid of the Annihilate. All right, but that's going to be our last one for the day. I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, we did take an L at the beginning of this video, and I feel like we could have won that game had I just made the... Uh, the initial read that I wanted to make with um, going for Ice Spinner uh, into his Dragonite and substitute on Fluttermane. But we'll get him next time. I hope you all enjoyed the content. Um, if there's anything that you feel like I should add to my content or take away, anything you take away from it, just let me know with a comment below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, bye.